Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about best laptop specification for mobile app development. So, you know, I was getting a lot of comments and DM that bro, suggest me laptop, like which is the best laptop or what is the laptop specification should we buy for mobile app development or heavy tasks like gaming or video editing. As you know that like uh, Diwali is coming in India and like the, the sale is going to happen. You can get a good laptop in a very good rate. All right. So for that, we are suggesting you out some laptop specification and after that specification, you can buy a certain laptop. So we're going to talk about like processor, uh, memory, what is the RAM, SSD, graphic card and the display. All the things we are going to discuss that. And after that, uh, we've, once we discuss that, we will also tell you that which laptop should you buy. Okay. And which is going to be a budget laptop for you. Okay. But before that, what uh, specification you have to take care of if you're buying a gaming laptop or mobile app development or if you want to do a video editing or if you want to do multiple multitasking stuff all right so let's talk about the first one of the most important things that processor okay so why do we need a processor basically you will need a multi-core processor with a strong single core single core performance for compiling code quickly and running em uh, emulator smoothly okay so if you have a good processor it means that you can run your emulator perfectly and smoothly okay so so what uh, uh, you know processor should we get so i would suggest if you have a good money and if you're buying a laptop in 2024 go with the i7 like if you're taking uh you know uh intel so i would suggest go with the i code 7 and the generation could be 11 12 generation or later okay and if you're choosing a laptop of ryzen 5 like ryzen so you should go with the 7 9 but there's laptops like you know if you're choosing the uh, from the i7 so it will got uh, it will uh, be a costly okay so the budget often could be i5 so you can also go with the i5 and the generation could be i5 I 10 generation or 11 generation okay and you can choose the ryzen 5 okay now once you get the process like the the best processor you can buy like you know if your budget is low so i would suggest go with the i5 okay if you have a good budget then go with the i7 processor okay and after that once you shortly the processor you have to talk about the ram okay so uh, why ram like wh why we need a ram basically running emulators android studio xcode and others app like browser consume a lot of ram that's why we, we use ram like you know if you want to open multiple apps if you're running a multiple browser softwares in your pc in a one time so for that you need a good ram okay so if you're buying any laptop like you know, if you're buying a laptop so obviously just go with the 8 gb ram but that ram should be extendable okay so you can buy a 16 gb ram like if you're get, getting a like you know cheaper price in budget so i would suggest go with the 16 gb ram but you can also go with the 8 gb ram but uh, make sure that ram should be extendable all right now after that once you get the ram so if you talk about the ssd the ssd which i'm talking about like at least the ssd should be 5.2 gb okay 500.2 gb the ssd should be but you can also go with the so 5.6 gb but you know what i can suggest here now if you're buying if you're taking a ssd of 5.2 gb so make sure that if you're using a windows so make sure that local disk c has a good space okay so what we do now like when we do a disk partition like local disk c and d so c space like we make a very less space like 200 gb or someone do a very less space uh, of local disk c so i would suggest make only one disk like local disk c and use that because what has happened like when we install Android Studio and multiple apps simultaneously, it consumes a lot of space in memory. Okay, so I would suggest go with the like 5.2 GB and just have a one local disk. If you see on my laptop, so I'm also having a just one local disk. I don't, I don't have a local disk tree. Okay, now after that, if you talk about the graphic card, that's also important things like basically that's uh, like whatever image or things you are rendering on the ui that is possible just because of graphic card okay so a dedicated gpu is not always necessary but helps with the running happy emulators and game development okay so you can like uh, buy a dedicated gpu but that's not recommended for me i would suggest like you know whenever you buy a like you know integrated graphic card along with the, your processor so you don't need any graphic card extra so i think uh, you can choose the like uh, ryzen 5 or am sorry amd graphic card or like intel graphic card that's not a big not a big deal and if you talk about the display go with the 15 inch and with the full hd 920 to 180 but you can also go with the less than 15 like 30 to 14 inch as well okay and okay so this was the specification so in short if i explain you that 
the processor should be like uh, not less than the i5 like the processor should be greater than the i5 generation okay and the ram should be 16 gb 8 gb also works but make sure that extendable and after that if you talk about the storage so it should be a 5.2 gb okay and graphic card will be you don't have to any dedicated graphic card it will come along with that your processor all right like integrated graphics intel iris axi or amd radeon vesa okay now after that i had shortlisted like if you want to do ios app development so in you know if you have to do ios app development so there is only one option that you have to go with the apple macbook pro okay uh, so if you are doing like you know if you want to do like cross mobile app development like react native flutter and you have to mostly focus on the ios app development so i would suggest go with the apple macbook pro which is cost like you know you can go choose the m1 chip or m2 chip but you can go with the m1 as well like but make sure that you know ram should be 16 gb ram if you are taking less than 16 gb ram it is not works worth it if you are doing mobile app development so go with the 16 gb ram at least if you are doing mobile app development okay so it cost like almost 1.1 uh, 1, 1, lakh 55000 in indian rupees okay now after that we had already sort, sorted them uh, you know some laptops so which i can suggest you that it's the first like you know face for ios and cross platform development uh, that is called apple macbook pro which is like m1 or m2 you can choose it and at least 16 gb ram like if you, because you are spending a good money so go with the 16 gb ram and 5.2 gb ssd okay now after that uh, i would suggest go with the dell xps intel so if i just copy this name and open on the browser uh, i can show you the that okay and this one you can also go with this which is cost almost seven generation i5 which is cost 1 lakh 45000 which is also costly but i am going to suggest you some budget laptop as well so uh, this is the the laptop which i am suggesting right now that is like you know high range but there is already i have written them some laptop which is like budget okay so let me show you that first of all so we can go with the like uh, this is all like uh, dell xps and hp Sectrum, uh i7 and there's all all right but if you talk about the budget laptop which i was thinking when like you know i'm using acer which is also a very good laptop like acer Spire models all the models are really good okay so if i show you the price and this is really amazing like let me show you acer Spire 5 or Spire 7 you can go ahead with that 16 gb ram and 5.2 gb it's only cost 57k okay so you can go ahead with that as well but if you're buying any laptop so how you can search it like you know how you can get it like you know like if you're doing it like maybe after uh, searching it after one year so what you can do so you can just type laptop uh, 16 gb ram okay let me okay once you search it here you can see the filter okay so you can choose the uh, choose the filter like i i want i7 generation the okay once i choose the generation here you can choose the ram so i want 16 gb ram at least okay once i choose the ram I will choose the like display size like 13 14 or 15 16 all works for me okay and this is how we can get the list of laptops okay and we can figure it out like which works for me like you know which is gonna be worth it for me but as i already told you that ram should be uh, 8 gb or uh, 16 gb but if you're buying a laptop with 8 gb ram make sure that you know ram should be extendable okay because i had bought my laptop almost in 40 48 k and on the Diwali sale and the RAM was 8 GB RAM but then the emulator was like not, not running well so I would extend that RAM and it's now currently working perfectly well like I can do the video editing I can do the you know uh, like all the things like multitasking all this stuff I can do that just because of the RAM okay so let me tell you like all the laptops which I was discussing about the first I which I talk about the MacBook Pro after that I talk about the Dell XPS uh, as you can see that this is a Dell XPS which is cost 1 lakh 45,000 and here you can see the like NVIDIA GeForce GTX graphic card is there and 50 inches there and laptop with optical disc okay and this has been installed Windows 10 okay and if we talk about that uh, this is like quite well uh, after that if you talk about the next laptop which I was thinking this one HP Sactray so let me copy this name and show you this one as well HP Sactray and let me open this on the browser okay so you can see that HP Sactray 60 into 330 12 generation that's really good and it's i7 okay and 16 inch like quite bit huge lens and 3k plus multi-touch and it's cost I think it's not the price is not there yet 
but you can go ahead with that as well if the price is coming and the next laptop is like asus which is like really good uh so if let me show you that as well asus draws uh zempre zempreze something like that ryzen 5 if you so if i show you so it's cost 1 lakh 10 000, 10 000, which is like this uh looks is really insane but it's only like you have to choose only uh windows laptop if you are buying uh, if you want to do the android app development not ios because you can't do ios app development in windows laptop okay like after that if we talk about the next laptop that is called lenovo thinkpad uh, which is also good uh lenovo thinkpad uh okay here's this uh, which is like ninth generation i7 and uh, the price is still not there unavailable this is the item is unavailable and excellent keyboard okay now if you talk about the budget laptop the budget laptop which come up in the first go that is called acer acer company has a very budget laptop acer aspire 5 generation or acer uh you know seven generation you can go ahead with that okay and this cost almost like you know uh, 40 thousands to 50 thousands uh, which is cost almost 500 to 6 dollar which is like really good price after that there is called lenovo ID, idea pad uh, but if you're buying any idea pad so make sure that ram should be extendable and i would suggest go with the like you know at least 5.2 gb not go with the 256 gb okay so after that what do you can do now like i would suggest like because uh, every time a laptop will get unrelevant or like so i would suggest what you can do just search on the filter like whatever the specification we want like we want like i7 core or maybe a ryzen 5 ryzen 7 okay the ram which i want like 16 gb ram and the size this one as an ssd which i want which i can technify that and using that i will get that laptop okay so whenever you are buying a laptop make sure to consider about the processor another thing is that called ssd okay and once you uh, you know ram ssd let me tell you once more there's all the things you have to make sure the first thing is that processor the processor would be a great no you have to not buy a laptop which is has less than i5 processor make sure to buy a laptop which has greater than i5 or make sure that, like greater than the ryzen 5 or ryzen 5 okay and the ram should be like i would suggest go with the ram with the 60 gb ram if you are doing a multiple like habit tasking but 8 GB also works, not a big deal. But you might face a lot of glitch as well. Uh, if you talk about the SSD, go with the 5.2 GB. Uh, it will not cost a lot, lot of money. But 256 GB also works. And graphic cards, like that will automatically come with that your laptop. So you don't want any dedicated graphic card. So this is the all the things which you have to keep in mind if you're buying any uh, brand new laptop for mobile app development or for coding or for gaming or video editing. Okay. So if you have any doubts on this, just let me know in the comment section and make sure to, you know, uh, you know do a comparison the price on the uh, different e-commerce website. And if you're buying a MacBook Pro, so you can also go ahead with that. But, you know, initially, if you're learning phase, buying a MacBook Pro is a bit costly and uh, it's, uh, but yeah, you can choose it like if you want it. So yeah, that's all in this video, guys. Let me know which laptop you guys are uh, buying and let me know what questions is there. Alright guys, thank you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.